three, two, one. <laughs> oh my God, that is cold. Oh God. Welcome back to You Betcha Radio Podcast, the coldest podcast in all the Midwest. I am Miles, You Betcha Guy, here with Ryan, the t shirt guy. We are live in the studio. Mm. Jared is gone today. He's in DC. Yeah, I, mean, I, I talk. No, he's in New York. New York. Yeah. WrestleMania. He was there last night. He said it was one of the coolest things he's ever done. Well, I'm bucket cl- list checked for him. Wow. You know what? I like to think that this is just as this is my doing. <laughs> Jared having one of the coolest things he's ever mm. done is because I set up a company that allowed him. <laughs> To have unlimited PTO Mm -hmm. that allowed him to live out his dreams. And for that reason, Jared's living out one of my dreams. And that is that he can do that. (laughs) Resume. I didn't know you were a big fan. (laughs) I'm I'm a big fan because Jared's a big fan. Oh, okay. You know, that's good. I've tried to I've tried to get into it a little bit just now, I know Jared loves it. You yeah. know, it is it's like, what, it's it, what you do with your kids too. Like I don't give a fuck about dinosaurs, but now I'm into dinosaurs because my kids are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how you are to Jared. You're his dad. Yeah. Well, and it's one of the like I so Ryan found a TikTok of a of a it must be a patron or just yeah, yeah, someone yeah. who listens to the podcast. Day one. Who, this is all the TikTok was. Was it was a two slide TikTok, two photos <laughs> that swiped from our first episode to our most recent episode. Just a screenshot like of a Ryan photo. and I sitting here, and the ca- there was no caption, just tagged us in it. Mysterious with music. But I think what he was saying is, is look how far you've come, or how old you've got now. Yes. Yeah. Fuck, I look good back then. I'm be honest, Ryan <laughs> hasn't changed that much. No, I have. I really haven't. I, I really def- haven't. The only way you tell is like the hair, and you wear a hat most of the time. Like you got grays now. I got grays now. Yeah. Well, grays. It, well, and honestly, like I definitely look older, but I don't think I don't look at it and go, "God, I looked good back then." <laughs> you know. Yeah. So that was good. Yeah. But if I think back to when we did our first episode of the first year of business. To think about that all of the work and all of that stuff has now led to many people being able to go yeah. and do things that makes it one of the coolest things I've ever done. Yeah. That is cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, had we not done that first, had we not even started, done the first episode, Jared wouldn't be at WrestleMania probably, right now. Well, if we had never done a podcast, we wouldn't have needed to hire Jared. No. Yeah. He, he would be, he, he wouldn't be, he'd be watching WrestleMania on TV. Four ninety nine pay per view. What do they call that? There's like a whole like not coincidence, but like chain of events, like butterfly track, effect. Yeah, yep, yep. Tracking butterfly effects. Mm-hmm. Realistically, would have been at WrestleMania if you guys didn't do that first Bird Box episode. Who knows? <laughs> if MGK wasn't born, we may have never done episode one because he wouldn't have been in Bird Box. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, it's just it's a whole he is like, in that. Yeah, it's a whole deal. So if Paul Revere doesn't say the British are coming and we lose the war, <laughs> we Jared might not be at WrestleMania. <laughs> if, a, if, a, if a cataclysmic event 12 to 8 to 12,000 years ago yep. don't happen, there's a whole host of things that may not have happened. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy butterfly effects. <laughs> so. <laughs> If the Big Bang Theory doesn't actually happen, <laughs> we are not here on episode 290. Just think of the miracle strain, string of events that had to happen for us to be here and for Jared to be at WrestleMania. Yeah. That's everything Wild. was leading up to Jared at WrestleMania. Yep. Every event in human history. Yeah. Yep. And in reality, it was. Yep. So good for Jared. He'll be back next week. I think. Yeah, he will. Unless he's got another vacation plans and really starts abusing this unlimited PTO no. policy that yeah. we have. No, he's he'd finally started of, using of, it. He'd be out of PTO, uh, and it's what, mid-April? He'd be out of PTO already for the entire year had we not had unlimited. Yeah, true. And he's gone for two, three days a week. Yeah, unless we had some sort of carryover policy, because Jared, he'll take a day off here and there. But, yeah, turn and burn it. Yep. You know. So anyways, good for Jared. Yeah. Good for Jared. Um... Speaking of doing things that are one of the coolest things you've ever done, our first segment today 
Mm -hmm. is all about things you would love to have, but will never have. (laughs) Things you would love to have, but you'll never get. Is the first segment. I'll kick it off here, Ryan. Kick it off. Thanks for. Is it? Are are we doing? Will never get or may never get? Because there is a fine line between the two. You know, I'll let this one have some gray area. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like the may because my first one does not work without the may. Okay. Yeah, I mean, in reality, you know, butterfly effect. There may be something that happens. Yeah, we could speak this out into existence, and then a listener might be able to pull it off for us. Or I may get into a tragic car accident that alters my brain chemistry that makes me into a human <laughs> that would allow this. Mm, yeah. So you just never know. Okay. You never know. So in that vein, something that I would love to have that I will never get is an immaculate garage. <gasps> ah. I'm talking spick and span. I'm talking uh, finished drywall. Mm-hmm. I'm talking the the sealed floor with little specks yep. that you that, throw why on the ground. Why is that such a cool look? I don't great. know. It is. What do they call it? Epoxy? Yeah, the yes. epoxy yep. floor. Uh, a workbench with all the tools that are organized with a pegboard with all the tools hung mm-hmm. on there. A, a spot for everything. I will... I'll never get it. And part of that is because of the human that I am and my inability to organize (laughs) and or (laughs) keep things clean. And I'm jealous of the people that have that. Uh, If I... To your benefit, you do know a guy who is organized and keeps things clean. I'm saying you give me one weekend. Give me but, one week. Yeah, but Miles has to maintain it <laughs> yeah, after that. That's it's true. all the maintenance part is the thing. I because you know how easy it is. You take out a tool, you bring it into the house for something, <laughs> then you get distracted by something on the TV. Then you got to take a shit. Then it's dinner time, and all of a sudden that tool stays on the counter, and your wife throws it in the junk drawer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, classic example. Took a tape measure out of the toolbox this last weekend. Yep. Um, day and a half ago it's still on the kitchen counter it may just end up in the junk drawer it will it may go just back and forth if i happen to open the drunk junk drawer before i go into the garage it might you know key it up to hey maybe i should bring that back it could be six months from now there's with tools there's got to be like some separation of church and state like i have my in the house tools and i also have my garage tools both sets have all the screwdrivers you need but there's a certain set of screwdrivers that stay in the drunk drawer and some stay in the garage. Yeah. I'm not that fancy. I only got one set. I mean, you, you collect screwdrivers over the years, whether they're gifts That's or whatever. True. Um, And to be honest, I had full intentions of being this guy when I built the house. There's actually someone on Patreon. It's a question I didn't add to the list, but we can throw it on there now. Someone who's going to ask for a garage update. Is Anne still on your ass about cleaning the garage? No, not on my ass. She has given up. Ah, Good for her. Good uh, for you. She's merged back into her lane. Um, (laughs) So I think things are all good. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Now, once summer hits and we're outside a little bit more and all that, I'm sure she'll get the itch to get me to clean it up. But where I was going with that was I had full intentions of being that guy. And you know this because I put an outlet and a cable hookup up high on the wall in one of the corners Mm. because that's where I was going to put the TV Ah, for my for my little shop nook. Yeah, you're going to hang out out there. (laughs) I was going to hang out there. Now, if I was going to do that, I'd have to lay on a pile of hunting clothes (laughs) and watch TV. (laughs) And in order to get the TV hung, I'd have to move the lawnmower, a pallet, a bunch of other clothes and junk just to be able to hang the TV. Sure. Now, would you say that this is your forever home? Probably not. Uh, The way interest rates are going, it might have to be. (laughs) Because I I was going to say, if it's not your forever home and you know that, I think it's more of a mental like, why? Well, yeah, we. Why would I do be, this? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're gonna be out of here eventually anyway. Whether yeah, you're 10 right. Years hey, or, I gotta play for the next garage. Yeah, why get this one all spick and span when yeah. you might just gotta have to move everything to the next one? I'll learn this. I'll take this garage as a learning point. Mm-hmm. I need to. Where did I go wrong? And fix it for the next house. Well, I think the next house. Whether too. that house is five, ten, fifteen years down yeah. the road. Who knows? I got a lot of time to learn. No, nope. that's my new spin zone with Ann. 
Why is all your junk all over the floor? Because I'm learning on what not to do on the next <laughs> garage. Knowing you and knowing how your brain works, the best way for you to have this nice, clean garage space that stays organized is to have a second garage that is that's true. not attached to your house, an out garage. So all of your shit ends up in the one that's connected to your house because it'll go from your truck to that garage, then live there forever. If you never park in this other garage, it will stay organized. And I know how you came to that conclusion because in this new office, I have an office mm -hmm. and I have a storage room <laughs> next to my <laughs> office yeah. where I hide away all my shit. Basically, how I function is I need to have a bed to throw stuff under so the rest of my room looks clean. For I, sure. For sure. I... I'm never going to not have disorganization, but if I can keep the disorganization in one central location away from what everyone sees, then I'm good. Yeah. No, I 100% That is agree. a great point, actually. Like, under the bed or, like, closed closet doors can mm -hmm. do a lot. Mm -hmm. It goes a long way. Ryan. Yep. You know what I wish I could have, but probably never will have? No. No. An IV station set up at my oh, desk, <laughs> just pumping my veins full of ice mountain. Like a nurse on staff. And it would be a little, because I probably would still want to drink it because I really do enjoy the art of drinking ice mountain, mm -hmm. which is an art form in its own. But also making sure that even while I'm not drinking ice mountain, I'm still drinking ice mountain is what I wish I could have, but probably will never get. We could maybe pull a few strings. It's like, a new form of tube city in the walls instead of having the suction thing. It's just a tube that pulls from the wall that I jam into my vein. Yeah. And is ice mountain straight to the dome. Yeah. Kind of like a catheter for the rest of your body. Well, not even <laughs> remotely close, well, but I probably like, will dumb. need a catheter <laughs> for, how much, for how much ice mountain I'll be drinking at that point. Yeah. Yeah. In one. I think ice other. mountain needs to come out with some IV bags. I think that's really what it's about. They could call it. I, M IVs. I M V's. Ice Mountain V's. I envy this. What does IV stand for? Intravenous. Really? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think it does. I'll, I'll check. We'll have I'm, to workshop the name yeah. a little bit. Well, I mean, we're just a ground, we're ground zero. I M I V. Ice yeah, Mountain IV. Good. Like how how great would that be? The night after uh, Bender intravenous therapy i wouldn't even know what a bender is if i had that accessible exactly you, you would wake up you wouldn't even be hung over because you just hook right up to the bag no i wouldn't even have cotton mouth when i woke up <laughs> i actually you know in a more realistic world though i'd love to slap the bag on a bag of ice <laughs> for sure can we get some can bagged we, ice mountain can we get bagged ice mountain if ice mountain if you're listening i would love to do a slap the bag with just a bag of ice mountain. Or then like the party mountain. I, mean, like, I could make one easy. Until we can get the official, I, we can make one easy. You know, like from everything I've heard about parenthood is like you just, you don't go out as much and this and that. You can still have a fun party, but mm -hmm. instead of drinking wine and getting hung over, you just drink ice mountain. You can it's, also teach your kids to slap the bag. Yeah. It's ice mountain. <laughs> yeah. Maybe when I'm done drinking all the ice mountain, I can fill it with breast milk and my kid can slap the bag <laughs> on that. Fuck. Okay. We slap it well, I suppose he probably already is slapping uh, in the bag. Uh, <laughs> Guess we don't need to put it in a bag. Slapping it's the bags in a bag. Anyways, that's what I wish I could have. Do you wish you could have that, Ryan? Yeah, I mean, I, to take it to another level, I think just having like like tap. I mean, we have a we have keg raider here to have a keg tap tap ice mount would mm -hmm. be, elite. be. I mean, it, it, it's always ice cold, but to bring it to a new level and to put it in a keg. You get an ice mountain tap handle too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be sweet. We'll work on it. Or I mean, accessible. You want to talk accessible? Just Camelback filled with ice mountain. Yeah, we've talked about that. Before. Oh, we have. Okay, oh, yeah. okay. Well, we're way ahead of the curve anyway. So, guys, regardless of how you're gonna hydrate yourself, you got to make sure it's ice mountain. Do you guys have like the the up top shelf in your closet that's pretty high up. We do. Mm -hmm. That thing is a disaster for me. You get home, you have something you don't know where to hang it or don't know where to put it, it just gets yeeted up there. Yeah. And the more stuff you put up there, whether it's shirts or hats or whatever, it slowly starts leaning towards <laughs> yeah. falling off onto the ground. I'm, I, I mean, I'm 
I'm two shirts away from that entire stack. I got I get a duffel bag where the straps are hanging down over the clothes I use, and I will never put it up there nope. accurately. Nope. So on this podcast, we've talked a lot about you got to keep clothes that you don't fit anymore. Mm-hmm. So because someday you may get back into them. Well, I now have a whole thing of clothes on that top shelf of my closet that I can't wear anymore because now they're too big so i missed the window i had a window of like three weeks where i could wear these pants that i was holding on to mm-hmm. yeah. when i was losing weight to where it would have fit perfect and then i blew past that and now they are rendered useless until i gain weight again so here's the question do you keep those like you would keep Small stuff no. in preparation for no, you to gain, I, or do you get rid of them to force yourself to stay skinny? I think you get rid of them because you, gotta, you, mm-hmm. you don't want to go that way. Yeah. yeah, and you can't plan to go that way. Then you're gonna go that way. Mm-hmm. Well, that's why the, that's why the windshield is is ten times as big as a rear view mirror. We can't be looking in the past. Uh, that's a good one, Ryan. Wow, I didn't know we were gonna get a motivation yeah. in ten seconds. I'm just saying we're 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 past we're past the two X days. We're on to the X mm-hmm. days. That's what's in the closet. That's what's staying in the closet. Yeah. Very good you point. Know? So yeah, that'd be nice to have an immaculate garage. I know a couple people. But I also say that it, my garage just has character. Yeah. That is yeah. true. It's got charm. It's got charm. It looks like someone's living there. Yeah. <laughs> it sure does. Well, I think in your... <laughs> like literally, it looks like a homeless man <laughs> yeah. or homeless men are living in my garage. <laughs> yeah, squatters. Yeah. They're becoming a big thing now. These yeah, days. I know. It looks like someone's squatting in my garage. <laughs> Well, and it's on, not just me on the squat rack. On a, on a a plus to that though is if squatters do decide to open the back door, it's like, well, shit, someone's already living here. We we got to go somewhere <laughs> yeah, else. Oh, there's no, some other squatters home. code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this fuck. territory's already been marked. <laughs> yeah. Thou shall not we gotta squat go next on door. already squatted on land. <laughs> yeah, and another spin zone. If someone does happen to squat in there, I'm not even gonna know. Mm-mm. No, if we got hiding can, anywhere. If I don't they even... stuck by that little back corner, you might not. Yeah, I can just no sweat off my back. Yeah. Whether there's squatters out there or no, I don't know. We'll squat off. My my pot yeah so, so many ways to look at it uh one thing that i want that i probably I will never <laughs> get i'm going ryan is a viking super bowl like i might i might get it but we've had some really good teams that couldn't get it done so what, what's saying that our best teams yet are going to get it done yeah i think that the vikings will win a super bowl at some point i should add in my lifetime yeah that that's where i was going with that. yeah it just may not happen because tomorrow isn't promised. It right, isn't. Ryan? Yeah, I mean, it, uh, they call it the present because it's a gift. <laughs> yeah. And you don't know, you could die in two months. You could die, die in two decades. You still may never have a Super Bowl. Yeah. I mean, martial law could be tomorrow. Yeah, they can't be playing football during martial <laughs> no. law. No, it wipes out communication. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I might risk giving my location away to catch a game, though. Oof. Tune in on the radio. What if it was the Super Bowl? What if people were actively okay. looking? If I got a fun situation. Okay. Zombie apocalypse. Vikings are in the Super Bowl. <laughs> they're continuing to play. No, no, listen. Yeah, they're continuing to play. If you go to the Super Bowl, it is guaranteed you will die from a zombie. But the Vikings are playing for a Super Bowl. Do you go to the game? Can you guarantee they win? And you can't watch it on TV at home. How yeah. old how old is he? 52 okay okay so kind of right in the middle you could live for another 30 years you know 52 and can you guarantee me a win or they're just competing they're just playing in the super bowl nah skip that now i guarantee they can win i might go 52 is pretty old especially in a zombie apocalypse (laughs) life expectancy is gonna be way down what about your kids and future grandchildren by the time i'm 52 they'll be old enough to take care of themselves yeah by the time i'm 52 they'll understand (laughs) they will so they the may, they may understand. <laughs> Besides, at that point, it's zombie apocalypse. I'm just another mouth to feed. 52. You're young as fuck. Not in the apocalypse. You you're not. That's old. You got time. Yeah. The, that the, is like, true. Once you start hitting 60, you're moving a lot slower. You're, yeah. you're a hotbed for zombies. 50 yeah, I mean, that is true. It depends on how much Call of Duty you played when you were younger. You too. get past 50, you're on borrowed time during the apocalypse. Unless you have a go bag and a secret location. Yeah. 
Okay, I made sure to bring it with me today. Some weird eclipse shenanigans. Or Ooh. how about this situation? This is more a just this would suck situation for okay. Tyler. <laughs> you're 50. You're 78 years old. Zombie apocalypse <laughs> hits three days before the Vikings play for their Super Bowl. And they don't play the game ever because the zombie apocalypse <laughs> happened. How would that? That would suck. That would suck. That would suck a lot. <laughs> It'd be terrible timing. That would be something. <laughs> but here's or what, it, what if it happened at halftime? I was going to say game. silver lining. It's better <laughs> than the apocalypse happening during the Super Bowl, and I'm there. Yeah, because I'm, I'm fucked. Yeah, what do you do if the Vikings are ahead at halftime? Zombie apocalypse happens. They cancel the rest of the game. I'd be pretty sad. That would be, and they're down three. They get the ball at. Uh, well, they don't half. ever get the ball at this point. Yeah. Tough. That would be, be tough. Yeah. I, would, I think you're going to get it. I hope, man. The Vikings fans, I'm talking to you. I'm Hell looking yeah. directly at you right now. I know that it can feel like you have been drugged through the mud and your face is beaten in, you're battered and bloody. But I think that with enough time and with enough rolling of the dice, eventually... Just like when we at the end of our podcast roll the shake of the day to try and get all of a kind. At some point, according to sheer chance, <laughs> you have a one in 32 chance every single year. At some point, you're going to roll an all of a kind. And you're going to take home the Super Bowl. Yeah. It may not be this next year. It may not be 10 years from now. But at some point, the cards are going to fall your way. So just stick in there, Vikings fans. You got this. See, I, I definitely used to be a this is our year guy. And I'm trying to reverse the karma of being pretty negative about winning one. That's I, always it's, fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying, I'm just trying to do my part. Just trying to figure out how to how was, right. whatever I was doing before wasn't working. It's it's great to have zero optimism all year round instead of yeah. half optimism half of the year. Correct. Yeah. The kind of, it, it, that's a that's a actually a good philosophy to have for golf too. It just if you just talk super negatively to yourself, uh -huh. um, get ahead of it. Yeah. Get ahead of it. Then you'll, you probably will shoot a great score, mm -hmm. you know, see how it works. It's like, you don't have to get ready. If you stay ready, mm -hmm. you don't have to get depressed. If you stay depressed, Peter Lafleur, <laughs> I don't set goals because if you don't set goals, you can never not reach them and get sad about yeah, not reaching them. There's no disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. I think the, you're right. It should be reverse psychology. The Vikings should, actively try not to win a Super Bowl. Yeah. yeah. Case Keenum, I think they were trying to do that. Yeah, Case Keenum didn't give a shit. He's just throwing balls around there and someone would catch him. That's very true, actually. Maybe <laughs> they do need to, to actually take that approach. Speaking of golf, um, something I love but will probably never get is tickets to the Masters. Mm, that's a good one. I watched a TikTok of a guy who won the lottery like, because they do a lottery yep. system. He's for 20 or 30 years, he's been putting it in every year and he finally got it. Hell yeah. Good so that could him. be you. June 1st is the deadline. So I, I, I got it. I got it on calendar already. I got it. Do you have to in. pay to get in the lottery? Nope. No, nope. you just have to pay. If you get picked, then you obviously then you have, have to pay, pay for the tickets. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's one thing. I mean, Masters Week in the golf world is the biggest week mm -hmm. of the entire year. Yeah. And it's Masters Super Week Bowls. right now. Yeah. So. That is, I mean, that's a that's a WrestleMania type event for me, for that, sure. as it would be for Jared. Yep. Well, I I will guarantee that if you win the lottery, I'll give you time off to go. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! Right. And again, the stars will align themselves. That's one item checked. Check that off the list. Fuck, that would be sweet. You ever seen the concession prices there? Yeah, this unbelievable. Happens, this happens every fucking year. God, <laughs> every year the Masters. Do you know you can only you only got to pay a dollar fifty for a hamburger at the Masters? A pimento sandwich. Fucking a. I could go for a buck fifty, buck fifty pimento cheese. Oh, yeah. uh, I should see if I can find. I think my grandpa went to a Masters. I could see your grandpa. Going and I got to see what the ticket price was to get in. Probably. Like you guys keep talking. Fourteen dollars. Well, I think recent like. To buy the actual tickets, I don't think is crazy. It's expensive. like two hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's the I, oh yeah. My grandpa went to the Masters in nineteen fifty three, and his 
one day ticket cost him three dollars. Hell yeah. Holy shit. And the pimento and pimento cheese was still a dollar fifty. That's uh, what- parking in the program though was two dollars forty four cents. Arm and a leg. Fe- federal tax of forty nine cents, a state tax <laughs> of seven cents. It says right on the ticket. Do you do you know who won the Masters? And that year? my and my grandpa at the Masters got a signature from Ben Hogan. Damn, that's cool. That's very cool. So we gotta have him on the double just, bogey show. I gotta put ben my Hogan? I gotta <laughs> put my name <laughs> on grandpa. I gotta put my name on to get this shadow box of the stuff from him when he dies. That is yeah. sweet. Uh, I just read a book by Ben Hogan. Phenomenal guy. Nice. His he- head club maker. Same last name as me. Not a common last wow. name either. Wow. Spelt the same and everything. Maybe it's so. a little bit like a, a Stanley yelling at situation. Yeah. Maybe it's destiny. Maybe that's why your life sucks so much. You curse. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, need to, you need to figure out a way to make, break the Shaley, Shaley curse. You need to get together with Ben Hogan's grandson. <laughs> And and, and gotta, be his caddy, and you, that'll break yeah. your family curse. You got to carry him through Amen Corner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you give me a ticket to the Masters, then absolutely. Also, so funny to be like, that's why your life sucks, and you have, you're cursed. <laughs> yeah, fuck, I never forwarded that email on. <laughs> Back in elementary school, I have, I have 42 years left of bad luck. There's like a tweet conversation that or a text conversation on Twitter that's getting pretty big. It's this dude breaking up with his girlfriend. He's like, I can't believe you left me. I've stayed with you through your grandpa dying, you losing your job, yada, yada, yada. He's like, yeah, you're bad luck. I'm done with you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. That is funny. Yeah, You got to track down Ben Hogan's relatives. Get together with him. Uh, he was the, he was, the chain. he was the maker of his, of his woods. Yeah, yeah, all of his, oh, all of his clubs. You got to whittle a, a a club for his grandson and give it to him. <laughs> I may break your family curse. <laughs> Again, I'll do whatever I got to do. Take it to the master. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Would that be great, though, it. if he whittled a fucking club for Ben Hogan's grandson? And... And all of a sudden, he gets tickets to the Masters. The Vikings win the Super Bowl. My garage is immaculate. It's like we all get the benefits. The of curse it. is spread to us now. Uh, it, it, it's the reason why I kept that one piece of wood in my garage for the last <laughs> yeah. fifteen years. <laughs> it just all full circle. Yeah, it was perfect for it. It's like ah, oh, this club could so. wouldn't be fixed unless I had a very specific <laughs> eight and a half inch two by four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it might have got into wood making, like wood making TikTok or something like that. Yeah. Just shit like that happens. So, another thing that I would love to have that I'll never get is matching light bulbs in my house. What do you mean? Mm. So, you know, you got the recess lighting, the like can lights in the ceiling, right? Those are all the same color. But then every lamp. Every light fixture on the inside and outside is a little bit different hue Mm. of color. And I just don't think there's ever going to be a time where it all aligns. Can you take the in the inset, uh, the recess recess lighting, (laughs) incest lighting? (laughs) Well, they're not regular light bulbs anymore like they used to. Okay. So in a newer home, they're like actual specific LEDs that are Mm. like its own thing. Sure. So though, so, but like, doesn't matter how hard I try, I'll get light bulbs for our light fixtures above the 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 island in the kitchen. Can't match it up with the other light mm. bulbs in the room. Does it bug you? Well, that's not as bad because it's like kind of fine if it's like a little bit different things. It's more so for me, the outside of my house, mm. the the recessed can lights by my front door. And the lights that are on the front of my garage door are not the exact same color. Fuck. And it pisses me off every night when I drive home. <laughs> you're 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 like a you're a lighting color guy too in terms of like uh, d- designs and shit like that. Like sh- it's got to be right. Yeah, it just it's got to bug you. I I just I don't. Other people would have to be having this issue. Yeah, it's an, it, I have this issue. It doesn't bother me. Is yeah, the thing. It, like I got two light fixtures in my kitchen. One of them's over like the dining room half of the kitchen. Very different. 
than the actual kitchen lighting. You just have all. Well, it's not so much that. It's more so like it's even hard to match up. Like you got these, your your pendant lights over like your island Mm -hmm. or your uh, dining table. If one of them goes out, it's impossible to find the exact same color as the other light that's in it. So it's like all of a sudden you got a hodgepodge of colors going mm-hmm. on. It just looks. That's dumb. what's in my bathroom right now above my mirror. There's like mm-hmm. three light bulbs that are the exact same. And then the fourth light bulb is just like a little warmer. It's like, oh, I wish gosh. we could just get a standard. Mm-hmm. It's just, just all do the same color, please. Or I wish there was like a little dial on a light bulb where you could control the light. Mm-hmm. The color of the oh, light. Yeah. So I have a light bulb and a, my bedside lamp that just, it has, it, Two settings, warm and white. So it just, you pull the string twice and it switches to white and then you pull it again and it switches to warm. So Mm. it is an option where you have two different coils in a bulb, but I don't know if you can perfectly match. I think the answer is, is I got to just switch to all smart bulbs. Mm -hmm. like The ones you can hook up to Alexa and stuff. Sure. Yeah. And how about this for people listening? Alexa, turn on the lights. So hopefully someone in their house yeah. has their Alexa. Yeah, I love doing that. Right now. Yeah, yeah, we did that in a video one time. The <laughs> amount of comments, people being like, you just <laughs> activated my Alexa. Uh, there's that uh, episode of South Park. Yeah, the, the dildos. Yeah, and it added it to my shopping list because I had my Alexa right next to the TV. Really? So I had big black dildos on my Amazon <laughs> shopping list. Still ordered them. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, they got delivered. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. it was in his cart, and you forgot to take it out. Yeah, he had cash back on the credit card, so <laughs> pretty much free. You know, <laughs> or save for later. And I know that this complaint I have about the lights is a very minor thing, but this is a segment about things I'd love to have. Yeah. And I would love to have all matching lights. Yeah, uh, one thing that I'd love to have that'll never happen is to win an argument with Miles. Because even if I present. 100 really? percent irrefutable proof that i'm correct miles will spin it to win the argument no <laughs> what's the latest one ben oh uh, i don't know dude i lost track no it's not i will concede mm. i will concede more now than i have in the past that's true i've grown as a human being as soon as i turned 30 and learned i was gonna become a dad perspective changes a little bit it's not worth it to you- just beat uh, Tyler to a pulp in an argument. Are you arguing with me right now on this? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just pointing out to you why you're wrong. Mm, okay. I'm not arguing. I just don't argue anymore. I just agree. Yeah. Just agree. Yeah. yeah and then but then no- you become a yes man and then I want to get you out of my cabinet. You know? Uh, to a, I mean, to a certain extent <laughs> though. I mean, I guess if you're looking for arguments, then sure, okay, you know. <laughs> bring it on. I'm trying to think of the last actual argument we've had. It's been a while. It has been. Sometimes I'm just trying to like save my breath, though. It's it, like, is this one really worth it? Yeah. Probably it, a lot of times, probably not. So I'll just ah, fuck, kick it to the curb. Yeah. No, the windshield's I, way bigger than the rear view. That's why I can't remember. Yeah, for sure. I'm looking forward to the next argument, not the last <laughs> one. <laughs> I don't even think I have arguments. I think I more so just have debates. Okay. Argument has a bad connotation. People it, think that we argue. We more so will just debate a topic. Yeah. And sometimes I, most of the time I'm right. And sometimes you present arguments that I then need to shift the goalposts on What to what, make it work for me. Think about this. The things that we truly label debates are more arguments. And the things that we are labeling arguments in our lives are more than likely just a debate. That is a very good point, Tyler. Mm. So, like the I would I... agree with you on that. <laughs> See, I've grown, Ryan. I can agree. It's got to be logical too. Yeah, if you have a logical mm-hmm. answer to the debate, then he's more likely. To I be. hate, I hate arguments. That I just have a feeling, or <laughs> I know who you're talking about I just right have now. A feeling or. Uh, I've done some phantom research. Uh-huh. Study, Fan, fan, studies are saying phantom research <laughs> will drive me up a fucking wall. Mm-hmm. Also, misinterpretation of research will also drive me up a wall. Yes. I'm a big proponent of just because there's correlation does not equal causation. Yeah. 
I you hate need a little bit more proof behind it. I hate out of context things as well. Like choosing a bit of an interview to prove a point and you exclude all the preamble and the, the postamble of that quote to make it fit what you're trying to argue is the most I get infuriated every time. Well, like think about if they did a study of like 96% of people love podcasts and they only interviewed people who listen to podcasts mm -hmm. is just not good data. At mm -hmm. all. That's mm -hmm. where it drives me up a wall. It's like, well, interview people who don't listen to podcasts. Right. Right. So anyways, no, I mean, I, I'm, I'm with you. I, I completely agree. See what Nice, nice. Then everyone's yeah. in a good mood, you know. Huh. Yeah, absolutely. Because right. I, I feel uh, I am not. There are certain situations that I'm not super quick on my feet, so a lot of the times I think I just I avoid it because I just know I'm not going to be quick enough. I imagine Ryan in an argument, like in the truck ride home, coming up with the perfect response. Oh, yeah. oh dude, in the shower, it's everything. The, isn't that the worst feeling? It is the worst because I'm like. Fuck, that was a good one. It's like a win a little bit inside because you thought of it, but then it's an immediate L because you didn't get to use it. Yeah. I will sometimes anticipate an argument and have things ready to go. <laughs> prep it. I will, I will prep argument points. Just in case you got to start doing that. You got to start foreseeing the the debates we will have. It's like, well, he's going to counter with this, so I better have this ready. Well, but if he doesn't, I have to have a different <laughs> counter ready to go. I would also like to counter all this in saying somebody look at Ryan <clears throat> as a yes man by not arguing with me, but I just look at him as brilliant because it, by saying yes, he agrees with me. So that's what makes him brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if he thinks that what I think is the correct <laughs> thing, then he's brilliant. So really Ryan, you're just a brilliant guy. Well, and I'm I'm all about hearing things from a different viewpoint too. Yeah, you know, sometimes my own isn't always the best. It's not always right, <laughs> unless it's perfectly aligned with mine. Correct, <laughs> correct. And then it's always right. Yes. <laughs> um, I got a I got a short. I mean, I mean, I just a little. Yeah, sampler. why don't you toss it out there? Let's, yeah, let's it, fucking nibble on it. Let's maybe get some artichoke dip for the sure. table. Yeah, you, you <laughs> argue with me, argue it. with me or not. It's just completely subjective. Um. I love HBO Max, but I will probably never get it. Fuck you. Because <laughs> oh, you're on Miles. Because I, I like, pay you, for it. I was like, you it, know. HBO Max is one of the, uh, in my mind, is one of the best. Yeah, out there. the premiere. HBO. Um, Apple TV is coming on that ass, though. I it's don't have Apple TV. On that ass, yeah. or is it coming for Pause. that ass? It's coming for that ass. There's a Freudian slip, they call. Yeah. It is. It's Apple I mean, TV it's, is coming on that ass. <laughs> is what Tyler said. It pulls out. Uh, it's it's a phenomenal streaming service. However, I think it's like what eleven ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine a month. I don't know. I'm Something on like my that. buddies too. Yeah. Well, and also at the same time, um, I don't want to. I don't always just want to go start. I don't want to go start new shows all the time because then it's gonna it'll screw up his algorithm. And I don't want to be like the recently watched is like the last three of them yeah. because he's got to watch. He's got to pay attention to what he's just previewing because then it'll show up and it'll be like, mm. what the fuck is Ryan watching? And just make your own profile. That's my so I'm on my buddies. And he just made me a profile because he was tired of me doing that. Yeah, but I don't necessarily want this to always be top of mind because I may get kicked off. He's so, saying, are you going to kick him off? Well, he's saying that like he thinks by him settling in <laughs> yeah and making his own profile that will trigger me yeah. to rem to remind me that i need to kick him off so you're worried about getting kicked off of miles's hbo yet you just brought it up on a podcast i mean he knows i'm on it <laughs> so then and also make your own profile. Uh, uh, you know but then um it'll maybe make me want to kick him off yeah because i had someone in this office was on my netflix and my recently watched slash like my algorithm was so fucked up no it's actually kind of nice because if something weird is on there that you kind of are interested in you can blame it on that person yeah, my wife's like oh, you've been watching a lot of anime lately i'm like that's not no me. i haven't um one thing not that, anime it's hentai you... <laughs> 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 one, one, <laughs> one thing you may have noticed <laughs> that popped up that was strange ryan on our hbo account <laughs> was Let's go. my 
This is a recommendation from my parents, by the way. Oh, you told me about this. It's a show called Naked Attraction. You told me about it. You told I, me, about me it. and Ann watched one and a half episodes and we're like, I, I can't watch this. Because <laughs> all it is, is they reveal people from the feet up and everyone is just completely naked. So you get close-up shots of flaccid penises and balls, <laughs> like absolute muff vaginas, just, <laughs> just big on your screen. It's the first time I ever wanted a smaller TV. So it's the it's like fucking Playboy back in the eighties. It's the polar opposite. It's HBO's response to Love Is Blind. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Love Is Not Blind. Yeah, in this situation. I wish I, I, everything. I wish I was blind watching. The show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, so that means if I go and watch that, it's just going to, it, you know, it's, yeah, I won't like take anything. Recommendation right. from his mom and dad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, that was the most disturbing part is that my parents watch like a full season of it. So then you got to sit there and every time you see a penis on the screen, you're, you're like, my parents my mom saw this. Wa- viewed this penis with her own eyes, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, and it's just not something yeah. that I love. So that was yeah. another aspect of why I had to turn it off. Yeah. So I'll never watch it because I'll just be thinking Miles also looked at this dick <laughs> and his mom <laughs> and, and, and Miles' mom. And yeah, good time to watch it without glasses or contacts, Tyler. Yeah, a I'll, bit just, blurry. I'll watch it blurred. So it's yeah. like censored. The whole show is just censored for me naturally. And on top of all this would be maybe a nice full circle moment here. Thank God we started that podcast in 2019 so that Ryan, I could have enough money to buy my own HBO <laughs> Max account and Ryan can enjoy it as much as he does. Yeah. Succession. Game of Thrones. What else? Well, this goes on. This is your favorite streaming platform. <laughs> There's only two shows he's watched. Yeah, I got, I got, you got to pick and choose. Like when we were watching Succession, new episode would come out. I'd probably watch it before he did, so then I was afraid. And that then he it would always s- start in the middle of the episode, and I'd have to rewind yeah. it back and have to close my eyes so I wouldn't see what happened. Yeah, that's a cloud. I do that too. I hate you. Got it. you guys got to squash this right now and just make Ryan his own profile. <laughs> I want my own profile. I'm gonna be honest with you, Ryan. We make way too much money to be sharing HBO Max accounts. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. But, but that's what also keeps us humble. But we never we never back down on this podcast, so Ryan can't get Oh, no. Now, he, no. now he definitely can't ever get his own HBO Max. <laughs> like, if I... For some reason, if, like, let's say I had to set up a new Roku on a, on a new TV, I, like, I'd probably text his brother for the password <laughs> instead of texting him. <laughs> so what's actually funny is I think I would... I don't know if I would give my <laughs> younger brother the password to my HBO Max. I'd rather give it to you over him. So okay, that I'll take that. Lot. We don't need him watching love. Man, love is it a, to you. Uh, attracted love or whatever. It, what is it? Naked called? attraction. Yeah, I, I won't remember that by the time I go home. So you so, don't need to worry. So if anyone's looking, <laughs> so if anyone's looking for a flaccid penis, just check out <laughs> Naked Attraction on HBO. It is a banana <gasps> show. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I only hung around for an episode and a half. Just muff dove right into it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was hard to watch. <laughs> uh, it did not make me want to come back for more. God. Maybe I just wasn't in the. Never mind. No, no, no. Anyways. Is that Hell it? Hell yeah. Should we I take a break? I'm watching tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Should we take a break? Oh, yeah. Ryan. Yep. You know what we don't have to argue about? Uh, enlighten me. <laughs> he doesn't know because <laughs> we argue about everything. But I guarantee you're going to be on board with this argument. Okay. I like a good and the argument is, is the best place to go to get Red Bull is holiday gas stations. And even more so, they got a deal going on. They do have a what deal. What kind of a deal we got? Yeah, what kind of deal? The deal is Red Bull 8.4 ounce mix and match. Buy two of them, you get a third one for free. Ooh, what flavors are you going for on your mix and match, Ryan? Uh, probably the coconut blueberry. That's a good one. Um, probably the. Isn't that uh, only available at holidays or at least I think it was so. at the no, beginning? I, yeah, it was an exclusive. Yeah. At some point, it was exclusive. Yep. So I imagine they still got that. Yep. Uh, the original sugar free. 
Okay. Sugar free. And then um the the one the one in the orange can. It's like a summer series. Yeah, yeah I don't I don't know what I can't remember. I think it's maybe pomegranate. It's like a, Could be. a blood red one. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah. That one's good. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go with the pomegranate. I'm gonna go with the sugar free and the whatever. Blueberry. Same as, same as me. Same as you, but switch out orange for pomegranate. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Mm. Yeah. That actually sounds like a great cocktail. Hey, there's Jared's gone. There's three of us. Do you guys maybe just want to shut this fucking podcast down, <laughs> freaking podcast down and head on over to holiday and well, okay. and sit at the counter and just drink an 8.4 ounce Red Bull? I think I okay, do. Okay, so you said this was argument free, but now the argument becomes who has to buy? Oh, I who, will. who gets the free one? No, we'll all split it. So we're just getting okay. three for the price of two. So we'll okay. all split the two. Yeah. So we each have to buy point. Six seven of a Red Bull. Okay. How about this? How about we get real squarely? Each of us just buy three. Yeah, yeah. So then instead of having eight point four, we have twenty five twenty five point two ounces. That's a lot of Red Bull. That's the right amount, I think, for this mm-hmm. squad. Give us wings. We could get. We could get wings. wings. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to go to Holiday and get some wings. <laughs> And no, I'm not talking about Buffalo Wild Wings. No, I'm talking, talking about wings. We're talking about the bull's wings, not the bull's horns. Take the bull by the wings. Boom. All right, Tyler, you got some questions for us? I do. Rhonda Arouse Me asks, is it acceptable to put ketchup on steak? <laughs> <sighs> I don't think you need to answer after the look on your face. No, it's it's, it's it's more so the amount of dumb shit going on in the world. (laughs) This is on the lowest level of things for us to be worried about. So I wanted to parlay it into what is acceptable to put on steak because we all know the answer to the ketchup on steak is just a hard no. I I just don't think if you do a steak right, you should need any sauce with it. Unless it's like a garlic dollop of garlic butter on top. Mm, correct. And it should be fried in that, really. Right. It should be, what do they call that? Ba- basking it? Basking, basking. basking yep, yep. it? Basking it. Basketball? Basketball. I see it. So like, a lot of the times I'll get, uh, if I'm at a restaurant, I'll get sauteed mushrooms on my steak. Mm. Like how often, and, though? You say all the time. Like, once a year. Didn't say that. Is this like another Irish coffee situation? I didn't say all the time <laughs> at did, all. You did no, say once you in say a while. I said once you in a while. Okay, okay, while. okay. My bad. I thought you said all the time. So I didn't even say it this time, and it got blown out of proportion. I thought I you said all the time. I blown out of proportion. So every once in a while, I'll okay. get sautéed mushrooms on my steak, and that just kinda, like your Irish coffee. Once in a while, you get an nice Irish coffee. Yeah, that never said that I drink it all the time. Anyways, um, and that kind of comes with like a, a little bit of a gravy sort of thing, and I like that on there. Yeah, I wouldn't even count that. I, that that that's that's deserved. It's honestly. more it's more the grease I think from the mushrooms, but it comes off as like a gravy. Yeah, and that's good. <laughs> The amount of anger that Ryan can, because Tyler is a pretty even keel, keel guy. Like it, I, it takes a lot for him to get really mad, but all it takes is one comment that is not even about what he's saying at all that will throw him over the edge. It will throw Tyler over the edge like Morgan Wallen throws a chair. I mean, that guy will. Go off the handle if Ryan says something. People loved the they loved the original bit to that though. So you I have to keep wrong. bringing it back. No, and, and I I backpedaled. I backpedaled, and you, you were correct. Um, but anyways, that's <laughs> so nothing on steak ever. I would know, like like I said, if there's a fancy sauce that's like made by the restaurant, I think that that's fine. I think if you're just taking A1 or ketchup out of the bottle, I don't think you really need it. I'm not an no, A1 I think there's guy a, ever. I think there's a caveat to it. Um, if, it's, if it's steak from the previous night or the previous couple nights that is reheated, then I think it can, I, I think it deserves like a 57 or an A1 to go with it. I think there's a lot of people who say that you should never leave a steak for the next day well typically i'll make uh, like i'll make enough steak for three people when it's only me and my wife and she's got half her steak left 
And I, you know, so I got one and a half steaks left for for the next day or whatever. So left also up, steak and eggs. Um, yeah, I was just gonna say the only thing I ever use leftover steak for is steak and eggs, and it doesn't deserve it deserves egg yolk at that point. Mm-hmm. I mean, but, you throw some hot sauce on the steak and eggs, but that's yeah. that's the extent of it. Or if I once in a blue moon, it typically never happens. But if I do fuck a steak up, if I just cook it a little bit too long, um, great for tacos. Great for tacos. Uh, yeah. Fajitas. But 57, I'm a 57 guy. If I had to use it, A1 is just, it's A1's an, it's just an odd taste. Yeah. I'm not a fan of it. Yeah. But no, ketchup is just, that's a dumb question. Yeah. Sorry, Rhonda. Uh, Beaver Puncher asks, <laughs> what's something you do that makes your wife say, I married an idiot? Mm. I got a bad one. I I mean, or a good one, depending on whoever's judging um i get weird ideas and then i just i have to do them like i saw a tiktok video of somebody that cut a paper towel roll in half and then it I became napkin sized i saw when that. you pull it off there instead of the full paper towel size i did that and it just got paper towel dust everywhere and every time you pull one off the little fringes of where it was cut sprinkles off so there's just paper towel residue mm. everywhere in my you gotta kitchen. cauterize it yeah you gotta have a one. way sharper knife than what i used uh things after i saw that things came first full circle for me actually this afternoon we have a paper towel roll in the kitchen that can be you know you just you rip it off mm-hmm. it can also be ripped the short way mm. to make two of them double perforated correct yeah that's way smarter than what i did like the swedish flag so now I'm using paper towels left and right, just trying to get through this roll. So my wife, well, two rolls, two rolls, yes. And sh- you could use it as ass wipe though, too, if you if you ran out. If you're desperate, you gotta be desperate to be yeah. sandpaper in your bunk. And it doesn't like paper towel clog toilets pretty yeah, easily. Yeah, not good for oh, it. Yeah, yeah, it's your yeah. quicker picker upper. Yeah. It's not your quicker <laughs> wiper upper. Um, no one does a butthole like Bounty. <laughs> <laughs> Um, mostly it's when I say stuff and I forget that someone in the room is maybe sensitive to what I say, (laughs) you know, you make me, you maybe make a dark humor joke and someone in the room just lost a loved one. Mm -hmm. Usually I'd say, wow, you're an idiot that you said that in that situation. That's fair. Um, I think another time. Most recently was, and did I say the, that I pulled a prank? I tried to pull a prank and ended up pulling a prank on myself. Nope. So I was golfing on the golf simulator. Oh, yeah. And I figured out that you could change the elevation on the simulator. And I, after I was done for the day, I put it at 10,000 feet, <laughs> thinking that it would be funny that the next person that came in would think they were hitting it way further than they, than they are. Mm-hmm. And then I was the next person <laughs> to golf in the golf simulator. And you simulator. completely forgot and you I did that. I completely forgot about it and was like, had the best round, best like <laughs> range session I've ever had. And then I, then I didn't, I went an entire day. I went home, was feeling great. <laughs> did you, how many I, people did you tell? Oh, I texted my dad. <laughs> called everything. <me. laughs> I called, yeah, I called him. Yeah, share it with somebody. I was like, dude, I was fucking stroking it a mile today with the driver, like 3.30. And then I got there the next day and I was like, okay, this is weird that this is happening. And then I remembered and I told Dan and she said, you're an idiot. So <laughs> prank, mostly, get, yeah, it's the just pranks got pranked. Yeah, it's mostly it just if I try and pull a prank and it backfires. Yeah, it happens to me. But with shoot or shoot also, you know. That happens with me with shortcuts a lot. Like, I'll, like I, this is a shortcut, and I'll get stuck behind a train, and then mm-hmm. which you wouldn't That's have if you didn't try to take the shortcut. Like, yeah. You're a fucking idiot for doing that. So it's things that our wife thinks we're idiots for? Yeah, basically. It's a, what's something you do that makes your wife say, I married an idiot? I'm just an odd creature to begin with. <laughs> It's um, true. Like, uh, like my thing lately is when I uh, like when I say something's crazy, I've I've been saying it's crazy, <sighs> and <laughs> my wife had said some like just a normal conversation, and I'm like, it's crazy <laughs> that even happened. 
<laughs> and that, I mean that that right there set her off, um, which I I get it, but you know sometimes I just need to let that stuff out. That's like a that's pent up adrenaline I have to get out of my body. What does she think about the noises? Well, I have to pick and choose my battles because I am only allotted so many noises before <laughs> she gets really mad. So unless I'm playing with my kid, then it's I, I think then it's free game because I could just you like, found well, a I, loophole. Yeah, found the big loophole. I'm just I'm just mimicking him, you know. And then he's gonna start mimicking you. Yeah, that's fine though. He's I mean he's got my my jeans in him. Yeah. Another thing too is he he swallowed your jeans. Continue on, bad dad joke. Oh. <laughs> Uh, if I, if I get like a new piece of clothing, um, like, let's just say I get a new shirt, then every other shirt in my drawer does not exist <laughs> because I just wear that shirt like four or five <laughs> times mm-hmm. during the week. And that goes on for about four or five months. Then the others start to work back in the roto. I'll do that with a hat. Yeah. Yeah. Hats, same thing. I got, I mean, I have 50 hats I don't even wear, but at one time I wore it for three months straight. That's right. So That's what life's about three months at a time. Um, Sagandi's nuts asks musket to your balls. <laughs> twenty four hour pontoon ride or shirt cock it while mowing the lawn. Twenty four hours. Well, that's that's twenty four hours or just mowing your lawn, shirt cocking it once. Well, like, can I get arrested? It doesn't say. So I'd assume yes. Am I wearing underwear? No, you're shirt cocking it. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. Um, well, one, no one's really getting a show unless I bend over. <laughs> In because I got a rider. <laughs> so I got a zero turn with the hand pedal, so I could just sit there with my legs crossed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your thighs would get a tan too. You know how gross that seat will be oh, when I'm done. This fucking ball suit. Oh, we would have to peel your ass off of that <laughs> off of that lawn. No, I'm just gonna slip right off. <laughs> so much swass and swalls and swaint. It's tough for me because I have a really <laughs> small lawn. <laughs> so many uh, so many swesticles. <laughs> um if I gotta walk I probably do twenty four hour but if I can sit on my mower I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna shirt cock it with the lawn. I have a I have a tiny lawn. I can mow my lawn. <laughs> you have if, a tiny <laughs> yeah. So that maybe if I just get a really big shirt, I'll well, that's shirt what I was thinking. It. I'm like they're they're not gonna see much unless I bend over. If, yeah, like I will wear my biggest shirt. <laughs> like they may just see the just like the turtle head popping out of the bottom of the shirt. You know, it is you really could just trench coat it too. It's really windy in this town as well, so it might blow the shirt. Yeah, up. I'll look like Marilyn Monroe in <laughs> one photo. <laughs> see, I can mow my lawn in like 15 minutes. But you've be- both been to my house. I have a lot of neighbors. Yeah. You do. So I get to pick what time of day because I'm doing it like mm. two a.m. Okay, it doesn't say. That's where I was going. I I have a I have a light on my mower. I got push mower electric. Um, I got a I have a light on the front. I can just do it at night. Yeah, I'm with you. I might headlamp it, and I only have a push mower too, so I'm for sure standing up in this shirt cocking scenario. And I you, you could like you could pull the shirt down and kind of like. Like squeeze it in between your <laughs> kegels, <laughs> so <laughs> so that is pretty much just your your butt that's hanging. Yeah, out. you could just tuck your dick and balls back, <laughs> and then just make sure you don't bend over. Yeah, yeah. and then just mow, they- just mow in reverse. That right, so like your back is what's pushing the mower. Then you just gotta do one of those weird walks that your buddies would do in the locker room when he when he you ever have a buddy do that where he tuck his dick and balls behind and then walk through the locker room what's after the his shower what's the name of that <laughs> you little, had to have had a buddy you had to have done that no god no no i had a buddy named dallas who used to do that <laughs> <laughs> uh there's a movie i think it's uh, it's waiting i'm pretty sure it's, oh yeah yeah they yeah, do yeah. the goat yeah if you yeah. if you get somebody with the goat you get to punch him a bunch now if you can kind of like get the other dads on board in the neighborhood you can kind of make it a thing yeah, instead of free the nipple, we got to free the testicle going free the on. Dick. Yeah, yeah. You could just ice bath before too. It's really sure. <laughs> yeah. Shrink it up, and then you don't need a huge shirt. You just need a yeah. regular size. All are good options. I think I if I especially if I'm just riding. Oh, riding's easy. Yeah, they just think I'm wearing tan shorts. And I think or a banana hammock. If nighttime is on the table, I'm doing the shirt cock and mowing. 
if nighttime is off the table, I'm doing the 24 hour pontoon ride. You gotta be careful. That's a long po- uh, boat ride. You gotta bring some oranges so you don't get scurvy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I'm, honestly, I'm mowing regardless. And if I'm alone on this pontoon, it might, might be a nice break. 24 yeah, hours sure by myself. I could do 24 hours on a pontoon by myself. Yeah. With other people, not a chance. What if you're drinking? <laughs> 24 hours straight. Uh, yeah, I mean, it'd be kind of fun. Waking up on a pontoon in the middle of the lake might be one of the worst places to wake up with a hangover. With a hangover, yeah. yeah. But I feel like spending a night on the water by yourself, sober, Fuck waking it. up here in the birds chirping, maybe toss a line in yeah. right when the sun rises. Yeah. That actually sounds mm. kind of sick. 24 sounds hours nice. of fishing and cruising. You throw a little bell on the end of your rod. Have yeah. her, just have her toss out overnight. Just good tunes. Can lots. they make rattle reels for pontoons? L- lots of, I'm sure lots, lots, of, lots yeah. of John Mellon camp. Yeah. Seems like a John Mellon camp type of afternoon. Yeah. Noah Khan, maybe. Yeah. That actually sounds kind of sweet. We've if sp- I can go by myself, maybe I'm choosing 24 hour pontoon ride. Because you can go bullshit with other people. You can pull up to the dock. Well, you got to stay on the pontoon. You can pull yeah. up, though, and BS. You also. You- Talk to other people on their pontoons. Yeah. Wave to them. Yeah. I think, okay. I think we spin this to a positive. Yeah. I'm, actually, I want to do both. I'm going to do both. I'm going to choose both for the first time ever in a <laughs> yeah. this or that situation. I'd like to try both. Yeah. There's no bad option here. I also like how they phrase this musket to your balls instead yeah. of gun to your head. That would hurt. It would. Uh, I got two fun facts for you. Uh, First one, very topical, solar eclipse today. Uh, The next solar eclipse to go over the United States will be on August 23rd, 2044, and will only be visible in Montana and North Dakota. What? So we will get it. We're going to be in uh, totality. Yep. Uh, We'll be the only ones to be able to view any of the eclipse. So I don't know if we're on totality or not. If it's Montana and North Dakota, I would assume it's the western half of the state that might be in totality, but we're not. Mm. But the tourism industry is is like starting to boom now. Yeah, because getting prep for twenty twenty. I bet you could book an Airbnb for pretty cheap in twenty years for yeah. twenty years if you booked it now. Yeah, I mean you just pay you pay in advance. I'm I'm playing for twenty forty four. I'm just buying real estate on the line of totality. Yeah, yeah it's not a bad idea. Um, I mean it's not a great idea, but yeah, <laughs> buy dirt ain't making more of it. It's, it's true. true. Jordan Davis said that. I mean. We got to start Mark talking about oh. how big of a kick of the nuts it was. That, oh my God. It, that um, almost everyone was cloudy. There's some, mm-hmm. sp- I've seen some videos online where it wasn't, but a lot of people, even in the line of totality, that's what we're calling it. Yep. Cloudy as hell. Yeah. Uh, I had a guy on Snapchat drove to Illinois from Fargo to see it to get in totality. Cloudy. Cloudy. <laughs> oh, what a it's blue like through ball. the night, too. So why would you drive through the night? If, even in totality, it's just like night. I don't know. I'll ask him though. That stinks. Yeah, I went out during the peak <clears throat> eclipse here and you couldn't see shit. I didn't see you outside. I was out there 159. Yeah, I was right I was standing right there. I went on the patio. Oh, I was on the other side of the building. Ryan was standing on the north side of the building. He's like, I can't see. <laughs> were you actually? Just, no, because I went and grabbed his DoorDash. I was I went just, to the front door. Mm. Just, Jake and I were right there on the patio. Should've you know yelled. what they say that a um a great facility is that you can have lots of people and no one really knows that other people are here. Yeah. Should have yelled for you. I'd have heard you. Tyler. It was a little darker though. It was. It was. That was it. Um next fun fact. Dolphins deliberately handle puffer fish, causing them to release toxins as a defense mechanism. These toxins can be deadly in high doses, but also have a narcotic effect and are powerful hallucinogenics, which dolphins appear to enjoy. So in essence, dolphins use the puffer fish to get high. I love that. Is that why they call it like taking a puff? Maybe. Puff, puff, pass that fish. No, I think it's because it's a puff of smoke. No, I know. Yeah. Okay. Just, so puffer just, fish thing's cooler, though. Sometimes you got to reel Ryan in before his <laughs> idea gets too out there. Oh, I, I knew that was the And idea. I didn't know I if you knew. Um, I mean, they say that dolphins do a lot of behavioral things that 
humans do. Yeah, they're very intelligent. And act similar, so that makes total sense. Now I wonder why the police aren't throwing dolphins in jail for getting high. That's yeah. a good point. Maybe well, dolphins spearheaded drug reform. Could. We could use that as an argument. Yeah. Probably a right. lot easier to get your hands on, like as a human, to get your hands on puffer fish too than it is like methamphetamine. I don't know. Or heroin. I, uh, why don't you spend the week <laughs> trying to get both? And we'll just, we'll just okay. I should say easier. Know. I should say we're an experiment. Podcast. I should say less, like less sketchy. Well, why is a guy in Fargo, North Dakota, need a puffer fish though? You know. Well, I want to. I want to explore the uh, <laughs> what. So, if oh. could humans get a high from puffer fish? I don't know. I'll look that up though. Because that saying. that's where my head goes. Is well, shit, we just unlock a new type of high? That's what I'm saying. Probably much better high. I've never been high before, but I would assume. <laughs> ah, we don't. <laughs> Block sodium channels in the nervous system, causing the body and brain to stop communicating the results of numbness. <laughs> At the extremities, rapid muscle weakening, paralysis, including a respiratory tract in small amounts. So kill a human within minutes. We can't get high out of it, but we can die from it. So, hmm, why can dolphins? Anyways. Huh. Why can, why can dolphins handle a small amount, but we can't? Why can't they get high the, and we can't? I mean, that's maybe a, they don't have. Maybe yeah, they have higher sodium channels. Tell you what, that's the way to go out, though. Numbness, go up. Numbness starting at the extremities, rapid muscle weakening, and paralysis. Yeah. You just you just fucking melt into the couch, you know? Do a little puffer fish. <laughs> why, why aren't we using that? <laughs> That'd be the way to go. Yeah, they should be serving puffer fish at restaurants. <laughs> so basically, there's here's an article that says how the puffer fish fish gets you high, zombifies you, and kills you. Jesus. So maybe you do get high before yeah. you die. How do uh, pandas get high again? Don't they? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there's something. Uh, you, you, we got to look this up. Oh, my God. I don't know if it's in the bamboo that they're eating or what. Pandas experiments experience a dopamine bump when they eat bamboo. Oh, and if you eat enough of it too, I'm sure it's probably like popping an Adderall or something. Yeah, maybe similar to the happy feeling humans experience when they eat sugar or fatty foods. So if they eat enough bamboo, they'll get basically a sugar rush vibe that we get. Checks out. Makes sense. I like it. Well, yeah, those were uh, more interesting oh, facts than fun facts, Tyler. I thought the stoned good dolphins facts. was fun. No, nah, you're right. That one was more fun than the eclipse. The eclipse was just more of a straight fact. Yeah, well, and I thought it would be fun because it affects us personally because we're North yep, Dakota. That is true. That is, that's a good point. That was the kicker. But then yep. you did say it was probably Western North Dakota. So I'm still going to have to drive but six it's hours. still state pride and closer than this year's. <sighs> Very true. All right. Well, guys, that's another episode of You Betcha Radio Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you want to ask questions or listen to our extra Patreon episode, go to patreon.com slash you betcha radio or search us on the app. Um, that's it, right? That's it. Well, guys, may your puffer fish get you high. <laughs> And may the Vikings someday win a Super Bowl. School. Cheers, Ryan. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.